Good afternoon and welcome to this end of the Sunrise Safari. My name is James Henry. On camera today we have got Gerrit and I am talking so quietly because just over there there is a hyena. Now this is one of the hyenas that has been lurking around the spot where the male leopard Mowati has hung his kill in a tree. Can you see him there? I'm just going to talk very quietly. There is Mowati, the male leopard. He's just popped his head up. That's very exciting. Um, leopards are good at heat. The animals that are really good at heat in this part of the world, springbok, wildebeest, gemsbok. Cheetahs are good with heat. But it's gemsbok and springbok that are really the kind of Southern African champions when it comes to dealing with heat, but there are lots of animals that live underground when it's really hot and they don't have to cope so much with heat so they avoid the heat. <laughs> my eyebrows are slowly starting to drop out of my face because of the smell. The paint is beginning to peel off the Land Rover. Hyena is trying to climb the tree now. <laughs> <With it. laughs> And the leopard is looking at him thinking, what a chop. He's growling. Here comes another hyena. Hello. Now what has drawn these hyenas is the sound of crunching bends. And now Mawati, ooh, look at this. There's the leopard running off towards the right. Oh, you beastly hyenas. Look at this. This is the young hyena. He's being an absolute idiot. I don't know why the leopard's backing away. He'd eat this hyena. Ooh. Chased him down into the riverbed again for no reason. There he is. Why? What for? <laughs> That's, that is absolutely wonderful. Look at that. Hey? Isn't that spectacular? Welcome to Chetwa Chetwa once again. I'm a bit disappointed she wasn't in that very big torchwood tree. You know, that's where I'd be if I were a leopard, but now I'm going to have to eat my own words and tell you she's on the ground. Sorry everyone, my predictions were totally off. It turns out that the tree that she chose was not a very good tree. Didn't have any shade at all, in fact. <laughs> so instead she's lying on the ground, panting heavily. I'm sure she's had way too much red meat. We have hit the jackpot. Kuchava has climbed up the tree and she's feeding. If you are a sensitive viewer, maybe best not to have too close of a look there because the carcass is hanging over that tree branch and she seems to have opened it up quite nicely. So there's a couple of organs exposed. She's busy plucking hair at the moment. How brilliant is this leopardess. She's done feeding for now and she has decided, right, it is time for a grooming session. Back to the sun. And off we go on a licking the paws mission. I love it when leopards do this. It shows so much attention to detail and that's exactly what a leopard's personality is. Cleaning her weapons right there. Isn't she fabulous? You will hear the other vehicle is moving. They've just repositioned because she's just climbed up into that spot in the tree. 
So we're going to give it a little bit of time, see if she moves. If she doesn't, we can always try another position. But for now, I mean, we've got a gorgeous view of her balancing so well up in this marula tree. Well, everybody, welcome back to Makala, where we have tracked down at least two elephants. We thought we might find the elephants trying to shelter in some dense vegetation from the wind, but no, it is very windy right here. You can probably hear that. There's nothing we can do about that right now. Decent sized elephant bull there with a broken right tusk. We've got a, another view of this big elephant bull. It's missing the tip of his tail. He's commonly known as afstart, which means off tail. Nice big elephant bull enjoying an acacia sweet thorn. Mm. We're not going to last very long where we are. We have repositioned, but this wind is un unmanageable. I'm hiding under the dashboard to try and prevent the wind from blowing my hat off. But a massive thank you to every single person who has joined us on our sunset safari today. What a pleasure. It's been so good. It's been so fun. It's been wonderful having you on the back of the vehicle. So thank you for coming on safari with us out in South Africa. If you'd like to join us in the morning for our sunrise safari, please do. We'll be out at 6.30 a.m. Central African time to explore more of the South African bush because there's only always more that it can offer. Being out here is the privilege. The animals are a bonus. Ah, oh, lovely zebras and impalas to end a very eventful day filled with elephants, leopards, and all sorts of other things in between. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a wonderful and peaceful evening or day, depending on your time zone. And hopefully we see you for our sunrise safari tomorrow morning. Thank you again. Stay safe and we shall see you soon. Bye everybody.